Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 3. Last time, uh, Jill got infected with a virus, played as Carlos for a bit, made the cure, and then all was hunky dory in the world. Now we're playing as Jill again. Um, I am gonna put the shotgun away on hold for a bit and pull out the grenade, the grenade launcher. You will see why. Because we have an upcoming encounter with a certain giant penis monster that. Um, I've actually died to once. This is actually my second time going through this place, so hopefully just not going to die again. Alright, let's grab this iron pipe. Alright, if you're worried about having not having enough inventory space, don't worry because... Um, after you use the lighter and the iron pipe here, they're both going to disappear, so that's going to free up two inventory spaces. But, I mean, look at this. Look at how fast that fire got rid of all that wood. There was a, quite a bit of wood there. I mean, there's no way the anything would get rid of that, that much wood. Any kind of fire would get rid of that much wood in, like, fucking ten seconds flat. This part right here where she's, like, bending the... Pipe. I thought the pipe was gonna snap, uh, snap on her, and you'd have to like do something else. But nope, she managed to just manages to just break away the concrete with her iron strong arms or whatever. There, I don't know. I'm I'm just ranting. So yeah, there's grenade rounds, which I probably should have taken as a as a note. Like, hey. They're giving me grenade rounds. Maybe I should take the grenade launcher. Key. Uh, not gonna bother going through this again. This is basically just says the city's gonna be nuked by the morning. If you want to read the full thing, then pause it. But that's just more or less what it means. Uh, also, not gonna read this again. If you just if you want to read it, then just feel free to pause and um, read it. Basically, this is explaining about the supervisors and there it's a supervisor and in, in this code there's an ink ribbon I'm not gonna bother trying to grab it because I don't really need it now leave nope all supervisors mission terminated return immediately repeat all supervisors return immediately over all right mission canceled that may be on account to the fact that uh, the city's gonna be fucking ash by morning. I'm quite impressed you've managed to stay alive up until now. And you seem to be doing a pretty good job of looking out for yourself. How about helping out? I have no intention of helping you. Because we're nothing but pawns in all this? In a manner of speaking, you are. Our employers wanted a detailed analysis of the zombie beings which were created through infection by the T-Virus. You're saying that they deliberately sent in a military unit to be butchered by their creations? Not exactly. Although the conditions encountered on this operation were extreme, it was an unexpected outcome that the team would be wiped out. We were only required to collect live data from the subject. Another mutant. And he just runs off like a whiny little bitch. Alright, as you could probably as you imagine that key is for that one other locked door. So well I assume that's what it's for. I don't know. I got to this point and then I fought this giant penis monster we're about to see and then I died. It 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 killed me. Because some the, just the, some of the enemies in this game are unforgiving. I love how just everything collapses. What is that? Oh, I could make a joke. Damn, I really wish I'd have thought of that joke earlier. I was gonna be like, what? What is? Why, why is my penis in this game? It's like, ah, I see what you did there. Cheesy jokes for the win. What am I? At? I'm still in five. That's awesome. 
Actually, let, let me try the freeze rounds. See how well they work against this this thing. Alright, you, you can come out now. Okay. Didn't have any warning. Really? No warning? Just gonna jump out like that? I don't think those are really doing anything, so I'm just gonna switch back. Damn. Why are you no dead? Let me go off left. One. I have one round left. Damn. Let's hope that freeze rounds actually do something against this guy. So I just have a feeling that they're not really gonna do anything. And that would suck. Okay, where is it? Well, it's hurting him slightly, I can tell that. Whoa. Okay, I'm very confused as to what the point of showing that was. Am I really gonna die again? If I die, I'm not gonna be a happy camper. Please tell me he's dead. Thank you. And conveniently, see, I don't... What was, what was the point of these, of it showing that these leaning and starting to thing like if if I stayed in that fight long enough would that have electrocuted him or something I think that'd be a pretty cool feature if like you didn't kill him within a certain amount of time then those would fall in the water he would go in the water and then he'd be electrocuted and die which, which would be awesome okay so yeah, I'm almost dead, and that's that's never, that's not awesome. That's definitely not awesome. <sighs> oh man, I want to know how close to the end of this game I am, because I feel like getting close to like the home stretch, but I also feel like we got a whole other, because I know. I'm pretty. Oh, oh, oh my God! Yeah, we're not close to the end of the game. Well, there's still a couple of things left to do that I just totally forgot about. Hey, 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 buddy! Go suck a chode! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! No! Don't chase me! Don't chase me! Oh my God! Jesus! I was in danger, and like the zombie was almost faster than I was. I have no grenades of any kind. If there's a hunter that's gonna show up here, there probably is. Please, game, just, just, just have mercy on my soul. I'll deal with zombies. I don't. I wouldn't mind dealing with zombies because zombies I can take out with this handgun. But you give me a hunter, I'm not gonna outrun that thing, and I'm not gonna outshoot that thing. I'm gonna die, and I don't want to die. Oh goddamn. There's this barrel again. I swear to god I thought I heard something. It's probably just Jill with her weird walking movements right now. Alright, what's what's on the other side of this? Oh, it doesn't say what's on the other side. Uh, what what do you mean? What what the fuck is this? Small key with an iron ring attached it says rear gate. Yeah, I use it on Okay, just fuck logic. Now I need this key, will you discard it? Yes. Okay, I believe this takes us out of the park cemetery area and into a new place. Right? Wrong. I love how she still goes upstairs at the same pace. 
as if she was perfectly all right. Hey, Carlos, where the hell are you? What, 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 uh, no. no. Oh, God. Oh, God. I believe I remember the right thing to do here. Push him off. <laughs> oh my god, where is... Okay, I am in the final area. Now. Which is pretty awesome. Card key reader. We need a card key. No, you know what we don't need? A car key. You know what we do need? Motherfucking first aid spray. Treatment control room. It's locked. Cool story. Captain Obvious and Sergeant Sarcasm. Oh my god, so happy. Jill, listen very carefully. They're planning on launching a missile directly into the city as soon as day breaks. The explosion will be powerful enough to destroy everything. Are you sure about that? Positive. I heard it straight from a supervisor. They'll go this far to cover their tracks. Come on, we have to hurry. There isn't much time left. Hurry where? Derpla derpla derp, Carlos. Facility key. Can't. Oh, so happy. Thank you, first aid spray. Now, the logic of spraying yourself with some kind of magical healing spray, and suddenly I'm at full life again. Okay. Gonna grab this stuff. Did I ever show what happens when you combine all the first. all the powders? I don't think I did. Well, let's let's use this as a moment to experiment a bit. Cause we got three of each. I mean I know like you can't combine like combine A A what? Actually I wonder if you can combine A A and like B. I don't think you can. I'm like ninety five percent sure you can't. And then B C But A C So like what the book? I actually don't know what these make, so let's find out. I believe they make some form of grenade rounds. Which is fine, because we don't really need no flame rounds. And then regular? No, ooh, acid rounds. Which is fine, because it's not like we're needing handgun or shotgun shells that much right now. Uh, boom. Boom. Boom, that key. Let's see here. Duh, that definitely. Okay. Where's there's my ink ribbons? Anything else in here? I haven't really looked around here. Oh. Oh man, there's diary. April 25th, 30th birthday. I was just transferred this today because I am very happy. May 4th. Wait, wow. April 25th to May 14th. Damn. Decompose the cells of the guinea pigs. What is the guinea pigs? I'm not really sure. Uh, blah -de -de blah. The guinea pigs we have to dispose of are increasing. July 26. We can't dispose of all the bodies, and the quality of the liquid medicine is not good enough either. The 29th. Oh my God. Some of the workers have been infected. That's that's definitely some bad news bears. I must remember to save one bullet for me. I want to weep. I don't want to die here. I swear that I'll lose my mind if I imagine how painful the death will be. Yeah, that's... That, that's that's tough, bro. Uh, that's tough. Actually, what is what what is this key? So that's a card engraved with an ID. It's attached to it. It seems to be code some kind of special painting. Oh, that's, that's lovely. Don't even tell me what it does. Okay. Save, uh, uh, 
do I want to keep recording? Actually, I don't... I'm actually kind of not really feeling recording right now. I know, like, I kept kept recording. I actually recorded, well, about 15 minutes. So this, is, this is a good length for an episode. So, yeah, I'm just not feeling... Uh, not really feeling it right now. So, instead of continue on recording when I just don't really want to and producing shit commentary, I'm going to go ahead and cut right here. So, thank you guys for watching. Next time on Let's Play Resident Evil 3, we are going to explore the Dead Factory area. I believe that's what it's called, right? Yes. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.